Welcome to Daily Physics Show, and I have a guest over here. Let's see first the accomplishment of our guest. ACT 36 over 36. SAT 1580 out of 1600. GPA 4 over 4. I'm going to show you three scenarios, and you have to draw a free body diagram for all three scenarios. Would you be able to do that? I hope so. Yeah. Okay, so let me show you the scenario. Object is sitting on my hand. This is an example of Newton's first law. Explain Newton's first law. Also, draw a free body diagram for this scenario. Pretend that this is the hand and this is the book on top of the hand. What are the uh, forces acting on the book? First, of course, is the omnipresent uh, force of gravity acting downwards, and of course, the normal force exerted by the hand on the book. Uh, these forces are equal and opposite, hence the object is in equilibrium, and so Newton's first law applies. So Newton's first law is the law of inertia, which can be written as the net force on an object being zero. When a net force on an object is zero, the object is either at rest and stays at rest, or it's at constant velocity and it stays at constant velocity unless acted on by an external force. This is an example of Newton's second law. Explain Newton's second law. Also, construct free body diagram for this falling. In the second scenario, we saw uh, the book in free fall, in slow motion. So when the book is in free fall, the definition of free fall means that the only force acting on the book is, well, gravity. Right? Uh, so it's accelerating downwards at 9.8 meters per second squared. Newton's second law tells us that the acceleration of a body is inversely proportional to its mass. Right? So because of that inverse proportionality, you multiply them and you get this force. You can also find the definition of mass from the second law because mass is defined as an object's response to a given force. Push a book against the wall. This is an example of Newton's third law. Explain Newton's third law. Also, construct a free body diagram. And the final uh, situation we considered was pushing the book uh, against a wall. And in that case, uh, there was the force applied uh, by the book on the wall, denoted as F sub BW, and the force exerted by the wall on the book which was equal but opposite in direction so equal in magnitude but opposite in direction which is exactly the statement of newton's third law f sub bw is minus f sub wb now let's not forget the other two forces of course we have uh the force of gravity but we know the book is not falling straight down hence we must compensate for this force by the normal force. Newton's uh, third and final law, the third law, says that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. You might have seen it in equation form as the force of object A on B is equal to but opposite of the force on object A by B. All this means is that every action, every force has an equal and opposite response.